all right welcome back everybody i am aesop grim welcome to the channel this is the continuation of my uh compendium for my first journey walkthrough of elden ring well it's not really a walkthrough i i, I don't know my first journey of elden ring i am following fighting cowboys walkthrough guide i am playing as fia's blood assassin a dagger arcane bleed build there's my daggers uh, it's just that Eleanor's pole blade has been best for this level so far. Um, and we are going for Fia's Duskborn ending. This is the Halleck tree. And uh, we're towards the end of his video number 77 titled The Prayer Room. It's called Walkthrough Part 77 Prayer Room. And that's where we're at right now. We just warped back here, actually. So we're going to pick up where we left off. Stand by and I'll uh, check out where we go from here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to try and pull this off. We'll see if I can do it. He uh, he sprints past a whole bunch of stuff. So I actually kind of watched a lot of video. I don't usually do real good with keeping all of that straight in my head. But I'm at 100,000 runes. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'm about 100,000 shy. I wonder if I could. Uh, let me put you on pause and see if I can get another level to spin these runes. Well, I'm taking you off a of pause because I don't think I can. So we're just going to go for it. I'm going to try and replicate what he did. So he comes over here. He drops off. Right here. And right here is where he begins to sprint past everything. Uh, okay. Sprints over here. See, what did he do here? I think he took this up. And then drops off here. Oh boy. There's the ballistas, okay. Comes over this way, sprints past these guys. This is where he starts to fight and kill everything that followed. Okay, so I did that correctly. Loot what we can. What's that? Smithing stone eight. And uh, and then these right here, these are the Halleck tree ashes. Halleck tree soldier ashes. And that now gives us all of the uh, soldier ashes from every zone that we've, uh, that the game has to offer right now prior to DLC and stuff. Okay. Well, I, I'm... Oh, I notice I can call something up. That must mean that we're close to something powerful. I can summon. All right, well, we're going to park our dude right here. Am I? Yeah. I'm going to park right here because this is where I paused it. So stand by. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got a couple clean rot knights to take out. Wish me luck on that. They, those guys are actually kind of tough for me. 
steps this way inside of this room. There might also be a couple other regular soldiers, depends on if they aggroed onto me when I sprinted this way before or not. I can't even see the clean rot knights. Okay, well, there's one. I only see one so far. I'm going to stick with the pole blade. It's been the right weapon for this zone so far. I have tried both and I much more prefer the pole blade. See out there? There is a soldier out there. Oh, wow, that's Jiminy Cricket, man. So I got to roll back in there real quick. In fact, I probably just need to target him and deal with the other soldier. Let let the pole blade do its thing. Yeah, that's what I was really kind of nervous about this run. That's why I was trying to maybe get uh, get a level because I was concerned I might lose my uh, runes. So we'll see if I can get them or not. Uh, past time. It says it's morning time, so that's perfect. We'll try this again. Oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. Tree Helm. Okay. Um, through one of the talismans I'm wearing, I was able to get most of my health back. So I've still only used one health potion. Let's see if we can get the drop. on this Scarlet Knight. I still only see the one.
Oh, darn it. Okay, those plants are giving me grief. But we got through those guys. Uh... Flame cleanse me. Get my runes. I'm going to assume we're safe right here. I, I sure hope we are, boy. I don't know. I, I think we are. I'm just a little bit jittery. Like, we're kind of obviously safe, I believe. All right, stand by, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we have a very sketchy, very long run to make. Uh, a jump, not run. A long jump. But it is doable. I'm gonna switch over to my daggers just because I feel more agile like this. I don't think I actually am. So sprint, jump, and land it. We get the Halig Tree Knight Helm off the body. And a great uh, side of grace. So I'm guessing I'm going to be able to rest here, but let me see where he goes from here to make sure about that. This is where I paused it. I'll be right back. Okay, well, we don't really need to rest because we'll respawn right here if we die, and the fight we need to do is right here. It's nasty. It's this guy right here. There are ballistas outside. Right now, we've cleared that side, but I think there's some more over there, so Cowboy does not go out there. He doesn't mention the ballistas. I just remember that there are out there, so he doesn't fight them out there. He pulls that thing back here but that does rot and if you remember from the first one it's a really wide range so it fills this room up most of it with the rot cowboy then well cowboy uses dragon breath for one thing to start off he puts cold on him then on his first attempt because he dies a couple times doing this but on his first attempt he, he uses a second uh, dragon breath that puts lava on the floor here. I thought that was pretty good. I don't have access to those. Um, so I can't do them right now. And then the big thing that he does that I just never do in this game is he comes down here and he spell parries. And that kills this avatar. We're going to have to figure something else out. We got to fight him more straight up. So it's going to suck. Um... Let's get... I, I want to try Tish first. Tish is my normal summon. I mean, we could try Mimic, but I I'd rather not. I haven't done Mimic the entire game. We'll try Tish. And we do have Swarm of Flies. Yeah, probably just... probably just going to try and DPS down. But I'll keep Swarmer Flies up just in case. Actually, tell you the truth, because he does rot, maybe it would be better to go with Flame Cleanse Me. 
the bestial constitution. Oh, look at that. I don't know if I can call T shop. I better not use anything. Let, let me have flame cleanse me ready to go. Oh, he also says that when you pull him back here, you'll lose your summon. Yeah, that's right. So we're, mm, you know, we're, I think we're going to have to fight him as is. Well, in that case, let me go ahead and pop this. I've never actually really seen this work. I forget what the wording is. Maybe I just haven't noticed it. And I want to use Eleonora's pole blade because of the reach. Um, also, I want to kind of just throw something at him or hit him with an arrow. Yeah, probably hit him with an arrow. All right, so pop this. Whoops, pop this. I gotta remember what button. There we go. Oh boy. There's the rot. Oh wow, that was so close. More rot. Okay, now this is gonna really be probably terrible. Roll out, man. Heal up. Oh, darn, I thought I rolled through it. Yep. So you can see now we should be able to recover runes pretty easily. So as far as runes, it's a fairly risk-free fight. But this could this is probably going to take us the rest of the episode. It's just uh, I don't know, man. I don't. It's not a great fight for us. So, uh, this, this, go ahead and have flame cleanse me up. Let's try daggers because we're getting very limited shots. So tanky. Whoa, what did I get hit by? Oh, gosh. Can I get him? Oh, he, he healed himself. Okay, so we don't want to pull those guys. We definitely we, we need to use the bow to pull the tree avatar back solo. Those guys are just real nasty on the tanking side of things.
Where'd he go? Oh, he's reset. didn't roll through it. I thought I did. Uh, yeah, the Scarlet Rock can really, really ticks on you hard. Huh. So as far as I can tell, I have to kite him throughout the length of this thing to try and stay out of the Scarlet Rot pools. That's gonna kill me, yeah. But I had I had something going there, I think. I I I do have to use the pole blade. The daggers just don't have the reach. So it's a real seesaw game right here because you can go far enough back that he'll de aggro. But uh if you can kind of stay, I think, on the staircase here. You, may, you maybe can come back to this point a little bit, but you I don't think you can come all the way to here. I think that's where he de or maybe it'll be right here where it, it detects that you've gone into like a different little area. Um... I don't think flame cleanse me is ever going to actually help. I think this the type of scarlet rot he's using it it chunks us down. Oh, I couldn't I can't believe I couldn't roll. I saw it coming for a day and a half. A day and a half. Ah, oh, so much rot.
Oh, really? Okay, we got him. I had to cheese them with that little tactic there, but thank goodness, man. Holy smokes. Okay. We're at uh, 27 minutes. Stand by. Let me see where he goes next, what he does. We might have a little bit of wrap-up stuff to do, but we're probably going to save it right here. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, well, let's see if we can pop those runes that I have and get a level. I'm at 179, I should be able to. Not item crafting, inventory. Uh, I wanna start small, I think. Okay, that should do it. Yeah. So we'll go Faith. Leaving us about 14,000 runes and... What's this? Blood Flame Blade is still not available, but these, uh basic dragon breaths are now so those are back online for me at this point in time he does go out here and he clears because there's some loot to get let's go ahead and i'm right at 29 minutes we'll give it a shot it's it it's going to be tough these knights man they heal they hit hard so we'll see what we can do Darn it. Yeah. So his spear strike does a lot of chunk damage. A lot. So um, this will probably take me several tries, actually. But that avatar is down. Uh, might as well use this. Okay, there's one. Oh boy. Okay, that's two. Halic Tree Knight armor. And there's some other stuff we're probably gonna get shot. Just a couple other things. Arteria leaf. And uh, what was that? A golden rune 11. They actually hopped down to fight us and Tish took him out. Who do you see, Tish? All right. How much PTSD do you think Tish has? Tish has seen everything since the assassination. She 
she has seen all i'm sure she she was part of the build-up the preparation you know and then they they actually executed the mission of course when you're undead you probably that that probably removes a lot of the stress i'm guessing <laughs> all right let's uh let's go ahead and probably just rest right here how many runes are we at now we're all the way back up to forty thousand that quick just a few mobs okay guys again i'm asap grim thank you for coming by the channel i hope you like what you saw more importantly i hope all is well in your neck of the woods i hope 2024 is going great for you and i'll see you in the next episode where this story continues